One year since the Lion Air crash off the coast of Indonesia, the crash would mark the very beginning of the Boeing 737 MAX controversy that we are still in the midst of. So this morning, we are going beyond the headline to look back at that crash and the fallout that followed. On October 29th, 2018, Lion Air Flight 610 took off from Jakarta, Indonesia. But just after the plane got into the air, something went wrong and a new automated feature caused the Boeing 737 MAX 8 to plunge nose first into the Java Sea, killing all 189 people on board. A report released earlier this month says a faulty sensor, new software in the 737 MAX, and poor pilot training contributed to that crash. Five months after the Lion Air crash, another 737 MAX 8, this time operated by Ethiopian Airlines, crashed shortly after takeoff, killing everyone on board. The second crash was very similar to the first and led to a worldwide grounding of the 737 MAX fleet and put Boeing in the hot seat. Several investigations are now focusing on a new feature called the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, or MCAS for short. The system is supposed to prevent the plane from stalling. Boeing is now working to update the MCAS software and the company said they've made progress. But there's still no definitive timeline as to when those 737 Maxes will return to the skies. CBS travel editor Peter Greenberg says he expects them to take off again in early 2020. Those planes have been grounded since March. There's every reason to believe they'll be grounded through the, at least February of next year. February. You heard it right there. In their report, Indonesia's National Transport Safety Committee places most of the blame for the Lion Air crash on Boeing and the FAA for design and certification of the MCAS system in the 737 MAX jets.